Hi, welcome to part 4 of this video series. Today we're going to make a bullet bullet review and edit leads and also a few other small things. The first thing we want to do is to add a link to the leads page up in the menu. So if I go to navbar.view above here, you can say router link to slash dashboard slash leads. And we need to give this a class of navbar item and then we can just say leads and close the router link so if i now go back to the browser just to refresh you'll see we have a link here called leads but i want this to be at the end here so of course it needs to be inside there like that so now you see it better as well perfect so then I can just set this to done and then the next step now is to hide the login button these two when we are authenticated and we don't want to see them and to do that I also need to go into navbar view of course and then above these two here we can say template and we only want to show this if we are authenticated and to do that we say v if store.state.is.authenticated indent them and then just close that of course if you are not authenticated so refresh and then they are gone perfect and since we have a simple my account page as well we can show a button to that when we are authenticated and to do that Below here we can say template v else, close that, and then in here is a router link to slash dashboard slash my account, close button is info, so it's blue, my account, and close the router link, go back again, and now we have the leads button and the my account. Perfect. And if we do sign out, we will see the login and sign up button instead. So then we can set this to done as well. And now I want to make it possible to view a lead. To do that, we need one more file in this dashboard folder called lead.view. So first we begin with the template and a div class container, div class columns which is multi-line and then one column at the top for the title and the title I wanted to print out the company name so age one class title lead dot title and then below this one I want to have a link to the edit button but we don't have a button or an edit page yet so I just want to add the router link to you can just go to the front page at the beginning class button is light edit and then close it and then below this I want to create a div class column is 6 and in here I want the div class box so we can separate this a little bit with some shadow edge to details close it close it I can make a copy of this and the other title should be contact information so we can save this and then we can first before we edit the router, I just want to add a script tag. Export default name lead. And then close the script tag. Then we can import this to the router. Just remove the S. And then we find it down here. We can make a copy of this. And this is supposed to be a dynamic route. So we, to be able to uh, insert the ID here, we say colon ID. And here we want to use the lead name 
and delete component and save. So if we go here back now, you will see that we have only one lead. And if I go to slash one, I should go to that page, but we don't have anything there yet. But, and we get this error because we haven't uh, added the data array here yet. Return. Then we can lead to be an object like this. So if you now save, go back, refresh, you'll see the edit button, details and contact information boxes. And inside of these, I want to show a little bit of information. So in the details box, I want to show the status, priority, confidence, estimated value, when it was created and when it was last modified. And then inside the contact information, I want to show contact person, the email, the phone, and the website. But we don't have this information yet, so we need to make a function to get it from the server. First, we can say import axios, because we don't need this, from axios. And then here, I want to go into the mounted hook again, mounted this dot get lead create the methods list and then we create the async function async get lead and then first as always is at this dot oops store dot commit set is loading to true and after we set it to false. And then in here, I want to call Axios, but in order to call Axios, I need to get the lead ID from the router and to get it is a const lead ID equals this dot route, not router, but route dot params dot ID. And this ID refers to this. So we could call this uh, lead ID or something similar if you wanted to do that. And then we call axios dot get and here we need to use these. I'm not sure what these are called, but we need to use them. Slash API v1 slash leads and then we want to pass in the lead ID here. So dollar sign curly bracket lead ID. And this one makes it possible to pass in variables inside this string. Dot then we get the response back from the server. I can just this dot lead equals response. Whoops. And if there are errors, we can just show them in the console. console.log error and we get the response automatically from uh, Django REST framework now because uh, we added the functionality there in the previous video and now we can just add this dot lead is the data we get from there because it's an object response is wrong of course it should supposed to be response okay I get 200 that is console.log response to see what that I get from the server. Of course, I need to set it to response.data. And now some of these are filled in. Perfect. So then I can just remove the console. And this should not be lead.title but lead.company, of course. So now we have the company title, a little bit of information and similar. Perfect. But this should be a little bit bigger. So we need to add class subtitle to both of these. So that looks a little bit better. Perfect. So now we have the functionality to see a view, but we want to make it possible to go from this page into the lead. So if I just go back to the leads.view, 
So at the end here, I want to add a th. This is just an empty one for actions. And then td router link to colon to because I want this to bind this to JavaScript. I want to use a named route lead, comma params. I need to pass in the lead ID, ID lead dot ID. Like that. Details and close the router link. So if we now save, go back, we have a new button, details, and I'm gonna click it, I go to the detail page. Perfect. So now I can set this task to done. And then I want to make it possible to edit a lead. And to do that, I need one more page here. So in the dashboard folder, edit lead.view. So I begin with the template, div class container, and the same title thing. And then I say edit and show the lead company after. And then below here, I have a new column. I can just close this so everything is okay. And inside this column, I want to show the form for editing the company. And this is almost exactly the same form as we have in the add lead. So I can just copy the form and paste it. But to make it a little bit easier to send this to the backend, I want to connect the V model to lead.company and not just company. So lead company copy copy paste 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 and paste and paste and so also there and there and we can change the title of the button to update so now we have the form we can add the script tag as well Export default name edit lead and I want the data array here return Lead and make this an object So that we can close this and we can import this to the router so we can try to go from the detail page to this Edit edit lead and then go at the bottom, make a copy of this and just append slash edit at the end there. Edit lead, edit lead and save. So if I now go back to the lead.view, I can actually just make a copy of this too here. So I don't have to write all of it. And then I find the edit button and just change this to edit lead and save. So now we have the edit button working and if I click it, we go to the edit page. So now we just need to copy the functionality to get the lead from the backend like we did here. Copy this. And then we can go to edit lead and paste it here. So now the same thing should happen here. So if you now save, Go back, you'll see the loading up here, but Axios is not defined because I haven't imported it. Import Axios from Axios, save, and then we get the information in the form. Perfect. So then we just need to make the submit form functionality. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. And that function should go below this get lead. And that is a sync submit form. Then we set the loading above here and set it to false below. And we call patch to the same address as we are on the slash leads slash one, which is the ID for my lead. And then we can just pass in this.lead, which refers to this one, because this object already has, has all of the information. 
And if there are errors, we show them like that. But instead of not showing anything here, I want to redirect you back to the detail page. So this dot router dot push. And then we can say uh, this one slash uh, dashboard slash leads. And then we pass in the lead ID at the end like this. So that's actually all the functionality there. So if I go back here and click update, lead ID is not defined. No, of course not. It's up here. But I can say this. Just refresh to remove the errors, update, and now we'll send back here. Perfect. Okay, I noticed that we are missing created at and modified at and to fix that. But before I fix it, I can actually set this task to done because now we have the edit functionality. But if I go in here again now, created at and modified at. Okay, so then I need to go to the serializer and I need to copy these two paste them down there. So if I now refresh, I get the information here. Perfect. So the format of this doesn't look very good, but we have to go back to that in another part. Right now, I want to go to the next task of the to-do list, which is showing a toast when we are saving leads. So in here, I need to import the toast. Import toast from Bulma toast and then below here inside the save functionality here I add the toast and the message is the lead was updated and the rest of this information which is the same as the sign up page so now we can save and try this out edit Update and now we have the Bulma toast down there. Perfect. So we can also add this on the on the add lead page. So then we find it here. Remove the console log. The lead was added. And we just need to import it. Import toast from Bulma Toast and save and try that out as well. Just close this, add lead, add some random information, submit and yes, the lead was added. Perfect. So now I can go back to the to-do list and set both of these tasks to done. And that was it for this part of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please click like below and also remember to subscribe if you haven't done that already. See you in the next video.